Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate compound annual growth rate. So here's our scenario. We start with 125,000 at the end of 2016. At the end of 2021, we end up with 182,102. What's the compound annual growth rate? The easiest way to calculate this is with the RRI function has three arguments, n per, the number of investment periods, so we have five. Now we have six years here, but we're starting from the end of 2016, so we end up with five investment periods. Type that in, comma. Present value is our starting investment amount, 125,000, comma. Future value is the end investment amount, what we end up with. So I'll select C9, close the bracket, press enter, do need to format it as percentage, maybe add some decimal places, and that is my compound annual growth rate. Now we can also do this calculation manually. I would say the 2021 amount divided by the 2016 amount to the power of, that's shift and six on your keyboard, one over the number of investment periods, and then minus one at the end. That gives me the same compound annual growth rate. Now, if you wanted to, you could work out the compound annual growth rate for each year. I'm going to use the RRI function for that. So it would be one period, because we're doing it for each individual year, comma. Present value would be the previous amount. Future value would be the current amount. Close the bracket, copy that down. And we have the compound annual growth rate for each individual year. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.